a good night of Shabbos. I just wanted to say a few words. Leinen uh, Ishmas, Alexander Sander Daniel Ben Shmuel. The world lost an amazing person. I'm not going to uh, repeat what just about every single person who spoke at the Levaya, at the Kvura. It's amazing how everybody spoke with one voice and had the same thoughts about Sydney. But I was thinking that, you know, when somebody passes away, sometimes you, you sit at a funeral and you hear the most amazing things about the person and you look around and I, there are some people in the room who are saying, did they really know this guy? I mean, uh, are they talking about him? Yes, everybody was talking about Sydney. Everybody who spoke was 100% true. Um, you know, we never know what kind of a tzaddik a person is. When it comes to mitzvahs of between him and God, nobody knows what his thoughts are, what he's thinking about davening, what kavana he has when he does a mitzvah. So you want to call somebody a tzaddik, you uh, basically are taking it on just on what you think the person is or what you believe the person is. But that only applies to the mitzvahs bein odam lamokam, only between the mitzvahs of uh, man for, as it applies to Hashem. When it comes to mitzvahs bein odam lachvero, there you can see if a person did those mitzvahs or not. Because did he give tzedakah? Did he help out his person? Did he give uh, miser? And did he put on tefillin? Did he all these things? Did he did he uh, uh, help out his neighbors? And I was interested in noticing something in this week's parsha, which is Parsha's Kesetze, that it has the most mitzvahs of any parsha in the Torah. And just about every single one of them, by the way, the number is 74, but just about every single one of them applies between man and man. And with the exception possibility of the very last mitzvah, which is a very important mitzvah, it's to remember a malik, which is uh, one of the six things that we have to remember constantly. With the exception of that one, at least 73 of the mitzvahs, 99.95% of the mitzvahs apply between man and his fellow man. And that's what we can all with certainty say about Sidney. He was the ultimate, ultimate tzaddik when it came ben Odom Lachvero. And of course Hashem knows that he of course was also an ultimate tzaddik when it came between himself and and uh, the Rabboni Shlolem. Um, this week's Parsha is called Kiseitze, when you go out. And when Sidney went out, when he left this world, he went out with a beautiful, beautiful covered. Everybody gave him the ultimate respect that he so much deserved. May he really have his neshama may really have a a great aliyah. Maybe he be a spokesperson for his wonderful wife, Marsha, and for all the Jews, because that's what he cared about, all the Jews. It didn't make a difference. Sidney was not the most richest person, although he wasn't poor. He maybe was not the smartest person in the world, although he certainly was not dumb. There, he's not going to be in any Guinness Book of World Record. He's not world famous. He's not going to win any awards for the usual things that you, that you say. But Sidney was the best possible person that Hashem wanted him to be on this world and he showed that all the time 
wherever he was, with, with whomever he was, and under any circumstances. We all know and we heard and we saw the difficulties that he had, especially in the later years of his life. He rose above them. I never heard him complain, why did Hashem do this to me? Uh, I was privileged to know Sydney on many levels, uh, more than maybe most people, uh, whether it was personal, family, social, uh, business, uh, in fun times and unfortunately sometimes in not such fun times. He always amazed me. He was a person that I craved to be with and I enjoyed so much my visits to Los Angeles and the wonderful hospitality that he afforded me, which goes without saying, could not have been done without his wonderful wife, Marsha. So in closing, I know this is a little longer than I wanted it to be. I just wanted to say that may everybody just have these wonderful memories. May those keep you strong, these wonderful memories of Sydney. And as we go into Shabbos now, may the light of Shabbos give us happiness. And may we only have good things happen to us. And just wait, please, not very long for Mashiach to come. Thank you. And good Shabbos.